Today, we will be discussing the recent comments made by historian David Starkey. Starkey spoke to GB News and discussed the lack of interest by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak in King Charles's coronation on Saturday. Starkey stated that one of the reasons the government has neglected this event is because the Prime Minister is not fully grounded in our culture. Let's take a deeper look into these accusations and what they may mean. The coronation is set to take place this Saturday and will serve to deepen the parliamentary monarchy by showcasing an immense culture that has been built up over hundreds of years. The surprise to many was the large portion of MPs who were not invited to the ceremony, which was only around 80 out of 650. This sparked back and forth between David Starkey and GB News host, Andrew Pierce. Starkey was asked by Pierce about the Prime Minister's detachment or at least semi-detachment from the coronation. This is when Starkey made his shocking statement about the Prime Minister being not fully grounded in our culture, which implies he has no ties to the culture or the reign, or perhaps his ethnicity or religion has something to do with a lack of love for the coronation. For a quick background, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who was born in Southampton, has African-born Hindu parents of Indian Punjabi descent. He will in fact be reading a passage from the Bible during the coronation. This detail makes Starkey's comments more interesting, as he seems to imply that Sunak not being fully grounded in the culture takes away from its importance. It's important to note that Starkey has a history of making racist and insensitive comments. He was actually dropped from a college fundraising campaign back in 2015 after complaints labeled him as aggressively racist. Then in 2020 he said, slavery was not genocide, otherwise there wouldn't be so many damn blacks in Africa or in Britain would there? His statements were met with criticism from the then Chancellor Sajid Javid and historian David Olusaga as truly disgusting. Starkey was quickly deleted from GB News, but not before hundreds of screenshots were taken and shared on Twitter. Starkey did attempt to apologize for what he said about Sunak and for the comments about slavery, but for many, the damage has already been done. So what does this mean? It may be difficult to put two and two together between the coronation and Starkey's statement, but at the very least, some clear racial undertones are present in his accusation. Many are seeing Starkey's comments as a sign of prejudice, and it should be taken as a warning to not downplay or overlook the power of culture when it comes to these kinds of events. In the end, the coronation will stand as a symbol of a long-standing culture, and for the Prime Minister to be as active and visible as possible in the event can be a ground for education. And for all of us, it's important to stay aware of our history and to understand why certain topics may be very sensitive in our culture.